So next morning here, I used the Yanmar, picked the loader up. I got some, uh, this is actually some old uh, heavy duty fence posts in here. It's actually sitting on that side. That one must be a little bit longer, perhaps. Kind of what it looks like, but uh, it's sitting on that. Uh, I'm surprised the bucket didn't roll out, so it's making me wonder if that cylinder isn't jammed down in there. Um, I would like to get the bucket to roll out. It'd be kind of kind of nice. But, uh, let me try that here while I got some hydraulic power out and uh, just see what happens. So, as Vice Skipper Raj would say, or even I think I've heard Let's Take 18 say this, something wrong here. I'm trying to take this uh, this fitting loose take the cylinder off, and the fitting broke rather than uh, come loose. Great, just great. So I ain't gonna be uh, using the loader today, unless I managed to rethread that a little bit. Mm. So uh, anyhow, I got the cylinder all loose here. It's actually ready to take out. You guys can see the bend. Um, and from screwing with this thing, it's full of ATF, which won't be hard to get. But uh, I noticed this, this suction line is leaking after I picked the uh, the cylinders up and stuff. So. Uh, I guess we'll take that off and cut it back. It's just a hose clamp, so that won't be hard to fix. Suction lines aren't bad. Um, as far as these fittings go, I mean, if I can get this ram straightened out enough to where it'll go in and out without any problems, then I'll worry about these fittings. Because if I can't get this ram straightened out, the fittings are worthless. So, go into the shop press here and see what I can do. Um, we're gonna go inside and get my torch and heat this up and because if you heat it a lot of time the heat will let it stretch instead of uh instead of stress crack it which this may already be stress cracked and as soon as i get a screw with it break it but uh you know wait and see what happens here so i got you guys set up here see if i can get around you without bumping you i can keep the light So, shut up in the, yeah, set up in the shop press here. Just uh, let's see what it'll do. I haven't heated it yet either. Just have to watch these blocks don't shoot out. Now obviously this will bend back, you know, a lot easier. Thinking, well, let's just keep going. I'm thinking about taking, moving it in about that half an inch of the rough line. But just see what it does. I'm only worried about what's inside of the cylinder, everything else. Yeah, I, I think I better, that's right where the bend is. So. Everything is, I have no idea how this, how this happened, so I don't know what kind of force was applied. I'm gonna assume, you know, they were just, they were digging or, or ran into something with the bucket. Uh, tilted partially down or something and maybe it was rusted a little bit like it is now because all it takes is just to have a little bit of a weak spot in it and that's why it bent there it had a nick in it so That's a whole lot better than what we had. I'll have to 
clean the, the shaft up the rest of the way there and just see what we got. I still got to deal with this broken fitting down here too. Well, let's go a wee bit more and then hopefully it'll spring back. i take this out so I can see it. Um, it's a lot better. It's still got a... Still definitely got a bow to it. It looks like further down. It looks like there's a bow right about there. Out here is not as important, but uh, if it's got a bend in it, it's got a bend in it. It's not springing back a whole lot. Try to not overdo it. So looking at it this way, I think we got it pretty good. I think. But it looks to me like it's got a curve in it, like this. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks like it's like this. So, try and take a little bit of that out. Where's the bend at? Right about the same place, I think. So, I guess. Right about like so, maybe. It's not a lot, but. for good measure. I'll have to get a straight edge out and look at this, but that looks pretty good. So now this way, looks all right there. Well, it looks like there's still, still a little bit of a curve right here. A little bit of a dip. So, pretty much you just kind of rinse, wax, wash, repeat until you are satisfied with it. A little quarter pump. Oh yeah guys, I think that is money. Bend I'm seeing. Hmm. Looks like it's still there a little bit. Just a little bit. It's way, way, way better than it was, guys. Sure go on a further out. If I heat this up it'll get a little easier too. Here's the other thing. Gotta make sure you can get it in the right plane. If you don't get it exactly right, then you'll end up putting more bends in it. And this is not what you want. Just me. Mm. Uh, 
I mean, it looks like a bend is still in it. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go grab a square and hold it up against there and make sure what I'm seeing is what I'm seeing. And I'm going to clean this shaft up some more here. That way I can tell for sure what's going on. So uh, hang out for a while, guys. Alrighty, guys. I think as you guys can see, I, I think I got it. I really think I do. Show you guys the other side, just to show you that I'm not trying to hide anything here. Sorry. Magnetic level is kind of nice, but uh, I think I got it. Both ends are touching. No big bow in the center. So, uh, I think we're good. So, now I just have to work on this broken fitting. And go from there. This is what you call success, boys. Wasn't quite sure I was going to get that one, I'll be honest with you. Ended up, uh, what is that? Thing hot. Uh, I ended up. I knocked the fitting down so it was even or flush, and then I was able to get an easy out to grab in it good. So, very good. So, all I need is a uh, 90 degree pipe fitting at this point. I want to try and get the other piece out of the line, and then. Uh, on the loader side of things will be okay for right now. Fix that line and stuff. Um, or just in case it rains or something, I'll leave this inside. I wonder if I could screw that directly in there because there's nothing that's a male. No, that's a female. No, hmm. I have to look at it. Anyhow, got that out of there. Noise, very noise. So guys, here's my curiosity. Will this screw into this? I haven't actually tried it yet, but I think, I think it will. Hi uh, George, I think we can make it work yet. As long as that hose is long enough to go back there like that. Yeah, just see if it works. Uh, let me throw this back on the loader and just see what it looks like. I don't have any hydraulic oil to try this either, so, you know, we'll uh, see what happens here. The guys got her all put back in and I don't see any reason why that won't work. I might clean this up just a hair more. Anywhere you can feel it with your finger, like there's a spot right there. I'll take the sandpaper and round the edges over. But uh, yeah, I got this hose put on here, and it's it's not tight. And this this end of the cylinder really doesn't move around too much. If anything, it's as far out as it's going to go. When you curl it back, it may go in some. So uh, pretty much, if I get this working and running, I'm just kind of have to watch it. Um, because I haven't got the tractor running yet, so I'm kind of putting the uh, wagon before the horse sort of deal. But um, the loader can always get switched onto another tractor if this tractor turns out total foobar or transmission in our engine. So, uh, so yeah, let's. Uh, I guess the next thing is pull the hood off here, which um, it's just sitting on there. The gas cap's the only thing holding it. Um, Stick a battery in it and just see if it'll turn over and see what's working and whatnot. Um, I did see the PTO lever is stuck where it's at. I'm pretty sure it's disengaged. High low lever is stuck. Um, I did get the forward and reverse shifters to work. Everything's just stuck. <laughs> oh, excuse me, stuck from sitting basically. So let me uh, see what I can do there and then we'll just see what happens. Because obviously there's a little bit of fluid in here. I don't know how much. 
And looking at it, this breather hole has been open to the elements all these years, so there's probably water in here. So, I don't know. I'll think about draining it here. I guess, pretty much, I just want to see if this thing will even kind of work. If it'll cycle back and forth and pick the loader arms up. At that point, I'll, I'll quit and wait till I have some uh, ATF to replace it. Looks like a gallon or two is probably all it holds. There's probably just as much in the lift cylinders as there is in the reservoir here. So, uh, yeah, just uh, see what we can do and go from there. I'm debating about taking the seat pan the whole way off because the seat has to go. This actually looks like a uh, like the old school seats from school when they're actually cloth and everything. Not whenever I went to school and they're just hard plastic. You know, all them guys, they're hard on stuff in the 70s and 80s. Couldn't have nothing nice after that. So, anyhow. See what I can figure out here.